too shy for show and tell. Welcome back. We're going to read another story. And it's by Beth Bracken. Too shy for show and tell. I like her books. Too shy for show and tell. Sam was a quiet boy. Nobody knew much about him. Sam loved trucks, but nobody knew that. Sam's favorite food was chocolate cake, but nobody knew that. Sam thought dogs were the best animals in the world, but nobody knew that either. Why didn't they know these things? The only thing that people knew about Sam was he didn't talk much. And Sam really didn't like talking in front of people, which is why Sam hated show and tell. Do you like show and tell? Show and tell on Friday. On Wednesday, Miss Emily told the class that show and tell would be on Friday. Sam spent most of Tuesday worrying. He had a great thing to bring for show and tell, but he was scared. On Friday, Sam didn't get out of bed. My tummy hurts, he lied. You're fine and you need to go to school today said his mother. At school, Sam told Miss Emily he had forgotten about show and tell. I didn't bring anything, he said, but that wasn't true. His perfect show and tell thing was in his backpack. That's okay, Miss Emily said. You can just tell the class about the thing you forgot at home. He's not going to get out of it, is he? Sam was terrified. He didn't want to talk in front of everyone. The thought of it made his tummy hurt really, really bad. He imagined that he'd say something dumb, or that he'd mess up his words, or that he'd faint or that he'd cry. Poor baby. Sam watched the other kids show their show and tell things. Do you think he can do it? I think he can. David showed some socks that his grandmother had knitted him. Everyone clapped when he was done. Helena showed a new doll she'd got for her birthday. Everyone clapped when she was done. Otto showed a cool leaf that he found on the way to school. Otto said weef instead of leaf, but nobody seemed to notice and everyone clapped when he was done. You think Sam can do it? Then it was Sam's turn. He got his perfect show and tell thing out of his backpack and went to the front of the room. What do you have to show us today, Sam? Miss Emily asked with a smile. What do you think he's got? Do you know? Sam took a deep breath and he looked out at his classmates. They were quietly waiting. Sam held up his picture. This is my new dog, he said. I named him Chocolate because that's my favorite kind of cake and he's the color of chocolate cake. Aww. He's got a new puppy. 
Sam didn't faint. He didn't throw up. He didn't cry. And no one laughed. Instead, everyone clapped when he was done. Now, everyone in class knew a little bit more about Sam. Next time, he thought, I'll bring my biggest truck. And he did. What was his other favorite thing that he brought? Is that a fire truck? Yes, it is. See, sometimes when we get afraid to do things, you just take a deep breath, and blow it out, and do it. Because sometimes it's not as scary as we think it would be. Have a great day.